this is a difficult game for Carl to itemize. You need like a hood because of the, the less rack, but you need a plate mail because of the Deso and the Corrosive Haze. So they have really, really good ways to blow the, the Death Prophet up, but you also take into consideration the counter initiation and the living armor as well. I'm intrigued to see how early... I, yeah, in a grand, I think Slaughter, you, you're one of these offlaners that get a huge spike in every odd level uh, for the bash, but I still feel like it might be a little bit different here just because the troll warlord. I, again, this is just a huge counter, and I feel like I... I've been saying a lot lately that I think Iro in general just breaks a lot of lane concepts open. Like traditionally what would be a rougher lane for a hero is just a little bit different because of how strong they are. And I gotta try and aim Tigger down. The grass just blocking off the avenue for the Iro. So he's gonna be forced to try and play in the tree line. Gets a little bit of distance away, but Gabby picks up first blood. And I feel like this lane's gonna continue to snowball out of control now. This is actually huge. Gotcha boy, if he oversteps the boundary, which he has now. Carl, XO out. So Gacha Boy is not the easiest person to chase down, especially with Boom Boom and Tigger looking to connect as well. But Carl, man, he is just beelining it forward. <laughs> Wanting the kill as your best as he can hope for, but unfortunately with the support showing up, that's a, a great maneuver from the side of Motivate the second one at any time he's looking to go into a vanguard for himself so just wanting protection against that boy uh, might be in trouble water. if they can keep him inside the sandstorm just are able to do so for a decent amount of time here refraction burnt out no one charges and that's gonna cost him his life that's a huge kill they didn't rotate fast enough from boom boy back to bottom but doesn't seem to care all that much is he even gonna try for a triple a triple wave into himself just to absolutely might be guarantee in trouble him. They've got the ulti from Cuckoo. They're just going to drop this instantaneously. And the rotations are showing up, but I mean, Pumpu, it might just die as well. I don't think they give a damn. What's happening by the triangle? Whitemon, Cuckoo, and Carl chasing down Tigger and Gacha Boy. Looks like the sustain from Tig. Could be worse, but uh, yeah, Masteros is just doing his absolute best to try and get any kind of farm here. He'll need to pull this back. Oh no, he might die and lose <laughs> all of it. How much time has he wasted to try and get all these creeps? And now that he's going to die off the back of this, this is a tough life. I mean, Gacha Boy shows up, so we'll kill off Whitemon. A little bit slow from the tree and protector, unfortunately. <laughs> Dude, well, poor Slana. The plus side is he pulled it as far away from the tower as possible, right? So it's going to take a little bit to walk into the tower. Maybe he'll be able to TP in in time. I mean, he's even got a third wave coming in for now. Abby doing his best to try and shove it in as quickly as possible, but looks like it'll still be okay. Might miss a couple of creeps, but not much more than that. I'll get a kill as well across the map on Zephyr. Boombooey and Toy just sweeping through the jungle. I believe... Yep, they got the trap as well. I think Carl level 10... And they're off to the races. They do have to be cautious of the Lesh. That is definitely something that is going to be a way back in for Motivate, considering the strong start at Gacha Boy. There's the blink reveal. Just did the kill on the BAME. They'll probably look to try and turn this into a T1 tower as well as dropping some vision down by the triangle. Now he's going to go see Fearless farming pretty aggressively. So let's see how he continues to rev at least posture. Here comes Dyer. They've got the high ground advantage. Cuckoo to start, they need to blow up the IRO, and now with a double stun from Cuckoo. That's the ideal initiation from T1. Leshtrak getting ripped apart, even though he has the hood. And now the frontline in shambles as well, and Slada, Bane, they were waiting, waiting in the shadows to catch out Gabby while he was farming, but it's T1 that dangled the troll, and they come out on top. Shit. I'm kind of hungry now. Motivate? I don't know. Exo's on cooldown, yeah, but Wymon can just start the fight. Again, they need to take care of the Iro. He's actually going to try and look to relocate out, but Cuckoo stuns before Tigger can escape with Toy's life, and they bring down the left track as well. Then, oh, this is... Oh, this look like... This could be a call it yeah, territory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what was that stat you, we brought up a while ago from that Dota? So, yeah, bit of an odd decision that Masteros was down here farming when they were going for an objective up on the top side. Oh, I would toy. Think that... Oh, no. Oh, no. And I he mean, just they... used the tether as well, so he can't even save him if he wanted to. They saw the Death Prophet show in mid lane off smoke. I mean, Carl's got boots of travel as well, so having two across the map now. Oh, no. Gotcha, boy. 
runs into Gabby and Zephyr. Jesus Christ. I mean, What's that's the highest net worth. They are nearly completely dark. Just the one lone observer ward, barely covering any kind of territory. Oh, boom, boom. I don't know if that's a very... Yeah. Um, they're going to try and cut mid, potentially. I don't know. I... I They've just, they've got to get Masra joining in on one of these team fights. Like, you could burst down someone if you get in on top of them and get the Corrosive Haze through. You've got a TA, for God's sake. Yeah, Maybe they're just waiting too. for TA's Deso. I think he needs TA's Deso later as well. Yep. Gabby's got Manta as well, so Enfeeble, Corrosive Haze. The extra stats, and they will test it indeed. The double I living arm on. I mean, they're going to have to force the Glyph before the creeps get to the lane, so... They will still have some of these available to not have to worry about backdoor protection. Masteros has come back and have that two in the ultimate, of course. Here we go. Deso picked up. The, the barracks are just falling. They, Masteros doesn't feel like he can jump into the middle. Cuckoo's waiting as well to counter initiate. He's just seeing if he can catch up the ire. If he's going to show first or if he has to counter up the jump from motivate him. Well, they just both stand there and watch like you needed to go in on either the sand king or the the treant there that sort of engagement if you use the the blink stun onto the slider it opens up the opportunity for lesh to come in and do some work right because the, the treant's dead and the sand king stun is used control severely lacking for t1 but just feeling like they're just not quite ready no they're gonna see gabby with a dd i if they oh, there's a Carl, decent smoke. Big. Yeah, Carl. He's got the play mail though. Oh, the bow shot. Cancelling out the Fiend's grip. Instantaneously, they disrupt the start. And T1, the goons has shown up. Carl's still DD. getting pummeled out. How is he not dead? Oh, the living armor keeping them sustainable. Five down. Make it a wipe by the triangle. There That's an elimination yeah. match, but they're still going to call it quits 20 minutes in. Motivate. They will be the third team eliminated from the BTS Pro Series 10 T1, and T1. Victory. I mean, they're, they're looking really, really good. They are, for sure. Uh, I'm sure Motivate will be disappointed with, uh, you know, the outcome with this tournament. I'm sure they, they were able to get past the first uh, few obstacles during the group stage, but when it counted, just falling a little bit short. And I, I understand the GG, right? They knew their timings they knew that they needed to take this game in 30 or so minutes but t1 had just made so much of a lead that it was going to be impossible to come back from that so 21 minutes even in an elimination game better to cut your losses yeah it's it's unfortunate though because like you said you you you'd known your timing you've you've known you missed 